Decorah, Iowa is home to the world-famous bald eagle nest. The nest sits high in the tree near the Decorah Trout Hatchery. There have been several eagles at this site since 2002. The most popular time of year to view the nest in person is once the eggs have hatched, usually at the end of March or the first part of April. You can view this nest 24 hours through a live stream camera. Lansing, Iowa is in the northeast corner of the state, near Bluff Country. You can make the drive up to Mount Hosmer and enjoy the view of the Mississippi River. It's pretty common to see an eagle soar across the river below. Oftentimes, the eagles hover near the lookout areas. There is no fee to visit Mount Hosmer. Effigy Mounds National Monument is in Almakey County along with Lansing. This national monument is the state of Iowa's pride and joy. You can spend hours here hiking the trails that lead to more than 200 native mounds that date back hundreds of years. This national monument is located three miles north of Marquette, Iowa on Highway 36 parallel to the Mississippi River, making it a great park for eagle watching in Iowa. Pikes Peak State Park is another favorite spot for eagle enthusiasts all year long. You can walk out to the lookout that overlooks the Mississippi River. Sometimes the eagles are pretty close, but other times they are pretty far away over above the Mississippi River. The winter months are the prime viewing season because the eagles are migrating at this time. Dubuque is situated along the Mississippi River, and according to the Iowa DNR, the area of Iowa's Lock and Dam No. 11 is home to around 3,000 bald eagles during the winter months. As you drive this area from December through March, you will see several eagles soaring overhead above the upper Mississippi River. The bald eagles tend to fly out early in the day and often and sit on the open water for a few hours in the afternoon. Swiss Valley Park is home to 62 wooded acres along Catfish Creek. It's located 4.5 miles southwest of Dubuque on Highway 20. Several trees are home to nesting bald eagles throughout the heart of winter season. Just make sure to look up when you enter the park and there's a good chance that you'll see a bald eagle flying overhead. Catfish Creek is stocked with trout, making it a prime place for eagles to hang out for a meal. If you enjoy winter camping, you can camp here and experience outdoor winter experiences including ice fishing and cross-country skiing. The nest can be spotted as you look up and spot for bald eagles flying between the trees. This area will not disappoint you as you head out to look for bald eagles in winter. Eagle Point Park in Dubuque overlooks Dam No. 11 with different views and experiences than you can find anywhere else in Iowa. Here is where you can view Iowa, Illinois, and Wisconsin. There is a small fee of $1 per car to visit. Early in the morning is a good time to see the bald eagles being active. It should also be noted that this park can get really icy during the winter months, so just be careful when you're walking on the paths. The Mississippi River Walk is where you can experience the Port of Dubuque all year long. The River Walk includes a temporary public art exhibition that changes every year. During the winter months, you can experience the art and the bald eagles. Winter is a more quieter time, yet the bald eagles fly around and entertain visitors all the time.
Just a little south of Dubuque, Mines of Spain Recreation Area sits on 1,400 acres of land. This area is known for its year-round nature opportunities. With a location that borders the Mississippi River, you might see flying squirrels, wild turkey, white-tailed deer, and of course, the bald eagles. Winter is the prime viewing season to see bald eagles here, but it's not uncommon to see them all year long. Clinton, Iowa is also located on the Mississippi River. Lock and Dam No. 13 is a prime viewing spot for bald eagles on both sides of the river. The Clinton Bald Eagle Watch is held annually the first Saturday of January. LeClaire is north of Davenport and has Lock and Dam No. 14, which can be found south of Interstate 80 and right off of Highway 67. Just note that this is a really popular stop for other photographers, so you might have to deal with a lot of other photographers wanting to get their spot for a good eagle photo. If that does happen, just be really patient until a spot does open up. If you get a good clear day, you can spot up to almost 100 eagles in one location. Davenport has spots along the Mississippi River where eagles like to fish and sit on the ice when parts of the Mississippi freeze in the winter. There's also the Rock Island Arsenal, which has the Iowa Army Corps of Engineers. Here at Fort Armstrong, you can park your car and look for eagles on the Mississippi. Muscatine sits on the Mississippi River in southeast Iowa. The downtown area offers parking that sits on the Mississippi River and is a perfect spot to view eagles. The water is open in places, making it a prime place for eagles to sit and grab an occasional fish. Sunrise and sunset are prime viewing times for spotting eagles. Each January, the Eagles and Ivory's Ragtime Weekend is held. The Quad City sits on the Mississippi River, making it an ideal location for bald eagles in winter. You can view eagles on the Illinois and Iowa side of the river. Lock and Dam number 15 in the Rock Island area is one of the more popular viewing places. Sunset Park in Rock Island is another fun place to see bald eagles. Sullivan Island is another place where you can see bald eagles. Brown signs along the road indicate parks, often including a lock and dam. Follow the directions on the brown signs and there's a good chance you'll see a bald eagle or even a golden eagle. The downtown Des Moines area is home to numerous bald eagles during the winter months. You can view them from the Scott Street Bridge and Southeast 6th Street Bridge. You can walk the pedestrian lane to view the bald eagles, or you can sit in your car and watch them. Council Bluff sits along the Missouri River and has multiple spots with bald eagle sightings. Lake Manawa freezes in late December to mid-February, and the eagles like to fish in unfrozen parts of the lake. There is a road that takes you closer to the river where the eagles like to sit in the trees. Western Historic Trail Center is another location close to the Missouri River where eagles like to group together. Big Lake Park and Lewis and Clark Park north of Council Bluffs will have a few eagles, but not as much as Lake Manawa. DeSoto National Wildlife Refuge is 25 miles north of Council Bluffs and also sits along the Missouri River in both Iowa and Nebraska. With over 8,000 acres, DeSoto has plenty of woodlands, wetlands, bottomland forests, and tall grass prairies. The oxbow of the Missouri River that got turned into a lake will give you multiple opportunities to see eagles. And it's not just eagles you will see in winter too. You'll see other winter migrant birds as well. Keokuk is the southernmost city in Iowa and a hot spot for eagle enthusiasts. You can view bald eagles from Victory Park and the Southside Boat Club in Keokuk. The Keokuk Bald Eagle Appreciation Days are held the third weekend of January. The Great River Road Drive is another way to see eagles along the Mississippi and you'll be sure to see several bald eagles flying above. 
any place along the Iowa River in Coralville and Iowa City are great places to see bald eagles. A majority can be found at Iowa River Landing. You can find them in the tall cottonwood trees behind the Coralville Marriott Hotel and Conference Center. Simply just take the paved path that runs behind the Conference Center, locate the Prairie Breeze Bench sculpture, and look toward the Iowa River. You can't miss it. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this video up. Um, if you think that I missed any other cities or towns in Iowa for bald eagle viewing, uh, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll get back to you. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!